this video, you'll be watching an excerpt from our AutoCAD Level 1 class. The topic I'll be covering is polylines. Polylines is a series of line and arcs touching at endpoints combined into a single object. Polylines can be easier to modify than individual line segments. This is an example of what we can do with a polyline. Uh, we'll get into that. Polyline has a shortcut, PL. Um, and then we're going to go over some of the options that are in the command line. So you can control the width of the polyline. You can switch between line segments and arc segments. You can undo one segment at a time and you can close the polyline. So we're, we're gonna stick to this drawing file. I'm just gonna move that house over to the side so I have some empty space. And earlier today on the home tab, we covered line, circle, and arc. We skipped over polyline. So now we're gonna cover polyline. So you can either type PL enter or click polyline. Okay. So for your start point, you can click anywhere. And if you look at the command line, there are a few options to choose from. But for now, just kind of zigzag, just like we did when we started the line command. Once you have a zigzag in there, let's try some of these options. So arc is one of the options. Go ahead and choose arc. And notice how it creates this arc that's tangent to your previous segment. So you can draw a few arcs. And if you want to switch back to line, if you look at the command line, we have an option to go back to line. Zigzag through. So just kind of zigzag um, back towards where you started. We can try the undo option. Notice it undoes one segment at a time. And then zigzag some more. And then we'll use the close option to close that shape. Okay, so you just have some random shape here. So right now, what we can see is that we have line segments and arc segments. So we have a combination of those two types of segments. If we select any segment, you'll see that all of them are connected as one object. If we right click, open properties, at the top of properties, you'll see it's a polyline. It's not a line, it's not an arc, it's a polyline. Okay. If you look at the grips, the endpoints have have square grips. The midpoints have rectangle grips. If you hover your cursor over a midpoint grip, it has three options. It has an option to stretch. If you select stretch, notice moving that line, the endpoints stay connected. It has an op option to add a vertex. So it gives you a new bend, a new angle in there. And then it has an option. If this is a line segment, it has an option to convert that line segment into an arc. If it was already an arc segment, that midpoint grip has an option to convert to line. Once you've changed it a little bit, I wanted to do something else. Select your polyline. Looking at properties, under geometry, you'll see current vertex one. If you click on the one, it puts an X at the first vertex, the first point that we started from. If you use the up and down arrows, you can move it to the next vertex. So vertex two, vertex three, vertex four, that X moves. Okay. So make sure the X is on a vertex between two lines. And now go to start segment width. So in properties under geometry, there's start segment width. I'm just going to pick a random number. I don't know how it's going to look, but let me try five. Enter. Okay, so five made this end of the line wider. The other end of the line stayed narrow or skinny. If you go to end segment width, you can change that to something else. So maybe I'll change it to two. So still noticing that we have two different widths on this segment. Okay, so it is possible to use two different widths, start and end. 
Another option is to use global width. If you change the global width, it will change the entire polyline. So for the global width, let me try two. So the entire polyline has a global width of two. Okay. So if these numbers don't work for you, pick something that looks reasonable. So I use global width every now and then when I want a thicker line on my screen. Another thing I want us to practice is tracing an object. So we already have the object in front of us, this nice, nice thick polyline. And I'm gonna demonstrate first, then I'll give you guys a chance to try it. Um, do this portion with me where it says no selection. So you have properties open and at the top it says no selection. This is something you don't normally do. Normally you want the color to be by layer, line type by layer, line weight by layer, transparency by layer. All these should normally but be by layer. We will discuss the by layer tomorrow. Um, but for today, we're gonna cheat a little bit and we're gonna change the color to red. If you're not happy with red, pick something else, but I'm gonna go with red. So what that means is anything I draw right now will be overridden and it will be red. So typically don't wanna do any overrides, but we are, we are creating this override. So what I draw next will be red. Okay, just watch. I'm gonna use a polyline. I'm going to turn on my snaps and I want my endpoint snap and my midpoint snap to be check marked. And I'm just gonna trace over this, but it takes a little bit of um, work in the command line. So I'll start, maybe I'll start here and then you'll see my red line and I'm just gonna go endpoint, endpoint, endpoint. Here, I need an arc. So at the command line, I'm gonna to go to arc, but notice the arc isn't going the correct direction. So when that happens, we need to use a three-point arc. A three-point arc allows me to click the start, the middle, and the end, and then it'll trace it perfectly. So to convert this tangent arc into a three-point arc, at the command line, there's a second point. So when I use a second point, my second point will be at the midpoint, and then my third point will be at the end point, All right? Okay, so I'm gonna keep going so you can see that a few times. I'm gonna switch back to line, click, 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 click. I'm gonna switch to arc. This one is tangent, so it traces perfectly. I'm gonna switch to line. I'm gonna switch to arc. So this one does not trace correctly. I need to add a second point at the midpoint, and then my third point at the end. Line, arc, line, arc. So again, this one's going the wrong way. I need a second point at the midpoint and click my third point. So if you get it, you can try it. If you don't get it, I'm almost done. You could watch me do it a couple more times. Arc. Second point, midpoint, end point, line, arc, second point, midpoint. Uh oh, that's not right. So I'm gonna use undo, arc, second point, midpoint. There we go. Line. And then I finally finished. So my our goal is to trace this correctly by switching back and forth between our line and arc and also using a second point when we need it. AdMasters offers online and classroom training for a variety of Autodesk software. For more information, go to www.cadmasters.com or give us a call at 925-939-1378. So I showed you how to control the width of the polyline through properties, but you can actually control the width while you're drawing. So what we'll do is draw an arrow like this. So this is created with a single polyline, but two segments. So there's a line at the start and there's a line at the end. The first line has a starting width of zero and has an ending width of five. The second segment, has a starting width of two and an ending width of two. 
right? So by changing the width of the line, it makes it look like an arrow. So let's zoom out. And uh, maybe I'll draw it right next to the house. Start a polyline. Actually, let's, let's change this back. Hit escape. Make sure top of property says no selection. We'll switch it back to by layer. So the color should be by layer. And then we'll start the polyline. I'm going to draw the arrow horizontally. So I use ortho to get it to be horizontal. I'll click my starting point of my arrow. And before I do anything else, I can choose width from the command line. Half width is kind of like radius, and then width is the total width across. So let's use width. It'll ask you for the start width. The tip of the arrow has a width of zero. Then it will ask you an ending width. The ending width will use five. So you can see the polyline has a varying width. I don't have a length, so we can just click whenever it looks good. And it remembers that width for the next segment. So to change the width again, go back to the command line, pick width. The starting width this time will be two. The ending width will be two. And now, again, I can just click to finish the endpoint and escape. So line and arc mode, we have practiced that, switching back and forth and converting it afterwards as well. Undo, you may have been able to try that. I did try it on mine. I had undone, undone a few segments. And close, just like a line, you can close your shape. So we got through all of those. Let me see if there's anything else. Properties, I talked about what we could change through properties. Okay, these are important. I'll copy this to the chat. There is a command called explode. When you explode a polyline, it breaks it into line and arc segments. Then there's a command called join. If you start with lines and arcs, as long as they are touching endpoint to endpoint, it can convert it into a polyline. And then we have this polyline edit command, and I put in gray, taught during layer lesson. So we're going <clears> to <throat> skip over that and talk about it tomorrow when we go over layers. So we're just going to go over explode and join, and then I'll show you guys your practice assignment. So let's, let's grab the red polyline, move it somewhere else. And I wanna show you what happens when you explode this polyline. So you can select it, type X and hit enter. Okay, so first thing you should notice is that the thickness goes away, the width goes away. Because when you select it now, these are separate lines, separate arcs. Lines and arcs don't have width. Okay. So now let's say I wanna put it back together. We can actually select everything in this drawing type J, enter, that will join into a polyline, but it will only join them if they're touching endpoint to endpoint. So this is a single polyline, this is a single polyline, and then this one already was, and that one already was, right? So the things that we actually joined was this one joined back together, and this was initially lines, now it is a polyline. So you can explode or join. Use explode sparingly. <laughs> Sometimes newbies, they get frustrated with things and then they just explode them. Um, some things can't be joined back together. <laughs> so be careful with explode, but polyline is fine. Admasters offers online and classroom training for a variety of Autodesk software. For more information, go to www.cadmasters.com or give us a call at 925-939-1378.